Hello, my name is Dr. Mark Awori. Welcome to Gertrude Children's Hospital. Welcome, we're on our way to the skills lab. Let's go. So Gertrude Children's Hospital is the only children's hospital in East and Central Africa, so it's geared specifically for children. So as you can see, we have our play area on the right. The kids love this. We love this because it means we've done a good job. This is the original building. It's over 70 years old, and there are lots of twists and turns. I hope you won't get lost. So this is our training area. Our skills lab is based in this area, so come on. So this is where we have our cardiac surgery skills lab. Come on in. So this is the full facility. It has space for two tables. And please note, we have a higher table because we have taller trainees and a shorter table. This is the, the setup, a nice setup. Uh, we are very grateful to our colleagues and friends in Germany who have made this possible. So here we have our tables, as I said, and then we have a roof light up there that's above every table. The second table also has its own roof light and that allows the trainees to have uh, good exposure. So now that we've seen the facility, let's get right into the action. So what we have here now is uh, two of our trainees are involved with uh, replacing the aortic valve and this is a, a pig's heart as we, as we know and they're going to use a continuous technique, that's the common technique we use uh, in, in, in Kenya and normally we use 2-0 proline but for this particular one we're using 3-0 proline and um, as I said we'll use a continuous technique. So now the size 19 valve has been put in and we were using the continuous technique with proline and what's important is that the valve is sitting well. There are no redundant loops both above the valve and we've checked through the valve leaflets and we've checked all the way around. And the, the guys are now just tying off and they'll close the aorta. Kenya has a real shortage of heart surgeons. And we started a local training program roughly nine years ago. And we've now trained over seven or eight heart surgeons locally, which is exciting. But we need a lot more. We should be training 20 a year. Now we are training four a year. So the skills lab is a way of exposing our trainees to more hands-on uh, aspects of training. So that allows us to train more surgeons faster. Why the skills lab is uh, is good is because uh, the learning of skills uh, is all about adequate exposure. So although we do have training on on uh, real patients uh, as as part of our program, we've decided that uh, it's important for us to have this surgical skills lab to increase the hands-on uh, exposure and, and therefore the opportunity for students to, to, to improve their skills. In Kenya, we are, we are training our own heart surgeons locally. It's not common across Africa, so this is something great. And as we focus on the great things, it will inspire people to do great things. Kenyans are doing great things. Let's continue.